Hello everyone, welcome back to Protect Genius. This is me, Surya Prakash. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys, uh, I mean, I'll be demonstrating you guys how to set up your proxy server using Google Chrome on your Windows 10 or 11. For both the Windows 10 or 11, and even the older version of Windows such as 7 or 8, the steps is going to remain the same. So, uh, first of all, before moving on to the video, there are a few things which I would like to tell to you. That is, if you are not a subscriber to my channel, just go click on the subscribe button and the bell button you to subscribe button. So, it could be helpful for me and you could also get all the real-time information which I post in my channel. My channel mainly focuses on technology and the problem solving. So, it could also be helpful to you and if you do enjoy this video, do not forget to click on the thumbs up button below this video. So, guys, let's just straightly move into the video. So, guys, who don't know about proxies proxies are some things which will help you change your IP address from one to another it's not the same as VPN VPN is a more complicated uh, step which encrypts your data and proxy simply doesn't so that's the main difference between a proxy and a VPN connection but you know VPN connection may be slower at times proxy may be faster VPN connection encrypts your data proxy do not encrypt your data so a VPN is more secure and the proxy is not but a proxy uh, you will be able to integrate your proxy uh, using all your day-to-day -day usages you do not need to install an application you do not do, need to do anything so that is the main uh, benefit of the proxies the most recent release of the proxy is going to be the Sox5 proxy in this video I'll be showing you guys how to connect HTTP proxies SOX 4 or 5 proxies, everything etc. So guys, if you are using Google Chrome on your Windows, all you have to do is just search for proxy over here and you will be shown the settings. Alternatively, you can just also open settings in your Google Chrome. That is by clicking over here, settings over here, which will redirect you to here and in here you would have an option known as settings below accessibility and above research settings if you click on this you'll know have an option when i open your computer's proxy settings if you just click on this will be redirected to your settings page uh, where you would have an option to open your proxy alternatively you can just also open your proxy settings by just uh, navigating to your settings directly then here you would just need to go to your network and internet okay as you can see over here there is a VPN connection and the proxy connection for connecting a proxy you just have to click the proxy button and you need to use a proxy server so guys now if you want to know your real IP address just go to google and search for my IP you would get a website uh, that is what is my IP address or Alternatively, you will get uh, also be displayed your proxy address over here. Or you could try using other websites. This is not a promotion. You could try any of these websites. You would get to know your IP address using this. Before connecting the, uh, to the proxy, just take a look at your IP address. And after connecting to the proxy, take another look at your IP address. It's going to be different. Okay, so the next thing is that where would we get the proxies from? There are many open source proxies. Just uh, if you just Google for free open source uh, proxies, you're gonna get a lot of this. All you have to do is that connect to any one of this. These things are going to be Sox 5 proxies. Uh, but if you're going to use it for Google Chrome, I recommend you connecting to your HTTP proxies. So right now, let's just test connecting it out. I'm gonna of it and the port is going to be 31 right now I'm gonna go to Google and search for anything if the, uh, the result gets displayed it means that this proxy is working successfully if it's not uh, if it displays errors like this it just means the proxy is either down or it's going to be not a good one. Okay, so there are actually various errors which you may face such as the tunnel connection failure 
like this uh, the web page has been temporarily down or maybe have moved to permanently new web address that is the error tunnel connection has been failed or if you successfully connect to any of the good proxies like this over here as you can see we have not yet got a result so I'm going to just change my proxy address okay so I have now connected to a new proxy let's just go back to Google Chrome and let's see what error we are facing okay so this just means that this proxy actually is integrated uh, I mean this proxy routes the traffic through the 14 net server so it's not going to get accepted by Google it just means that we are going to steal your data so for now just get a few good proxies if you just try either four or five of this you may finally reach to a good proxy i just tried the first one uh, all you have to do is to uh, check for google whether it's yes or no and we just have to use that right now i have turned off my proxy if you do successfully get a good proxy you'll be able to uh, access the web pages like before okay so but there are a few things which you would have to remember when using proxies so Soxway proxies are the latest uh, proxies okay so in order to connect to Soxway proxies all you have to do is just uh, follow the same steps or what you do is just you can go to VPN if Soxway has authentication you just click on this add new VPN and you will just uh, choose a connection name it's going to be something which you like the server, a server name or address is going to be pro given to you by the provider yeah, along with the username and password okay so that is how you connect to a Soxway proxy okay so what is a Soxway proxy a Soxway is the latest version of Sox a simple proxy protocol originally integrated specified in 1996 it's a useful protocol for forwarding all kinds of internet traffic you guys can just read it out but there are many top companies which do not increase the Soxway proxy such as Proton VPN the reason why they do not support Soxway proxies and they will never will list it they state that a VPN connection actually routes your traffic through a secure encrypted VPN tunnel but the proxies do not a Proton VPN uh, I mean guys this is again not an advertisement but this is one of the good VPNs which you guys can use a Proton VPN uh, secure open VPN connection. Open VPN connection is the connection which you use to access to your proxy network using AES 256 with RSA 4096 to ensure secure TLS key exchange and HMAC SHA384 hash authentication to verify the TLS certificates. Those are few of the terms which is used in your VPN connection. You guys may not need to remember it okay so just remember this is the exchange which they use okay so this is all about the HTTP etc guys uh, there are a lot of good VPNs try everything and I do not recommend you trying VPN 2 this is not a paid promotion so guys this is how you actually connect to a proxy server in Windows the easiest way like I told before is just clicking on this button over here okay so guys I hope you did enjoy this video and if you need a separate video or I actually found a few proxies and if you do need it just message to me in the comment just mail to me my email is available in my above section and I'll just send you guys about 10 proxies each person I guess I have about 100 proxies with me right now which is working and which is good and it is completely free if you guys need it just message to me and guys if you have something to say to me just leave it in the comment section below I'd be glad to help you in, uh, with all the problems which you face so guys once again thanks for watching this video and then 
I hope it was helpful and informative to you guys. And if it was helpful, do not forget to click on the thumbs up button below this video. And once again, thanks for watching this video. And let's meet again in the next video. Bye.